All righty. Let's check this out here. Whoa. Nice. I love it. Okay. First comment. That turnaround is too simple. I know I keep harping on things. Uh, it's definitely good in terms of... Like, I feel bigger changes. Like, in the path and everything. It's cool. But what I would do is, right now, you have a very, very straight Y rotation. And then also, if you track your nose. I know it's tricky because, you know, there's a lot of movement. But you can still track that nose. Boom. See that? How you go one up, one down. A one frame direction change. It's a heavy thing. And then same thing here. You go over and then boom, suddenly down. And then you get a pop down here. And then it stops. Pops up, stops here. So just you got to track a bit that head as you continue overall i would say you know instead of this have a bit of an under arc here on that turn so it doesn't under arc like that and i'm not sure why he would look down it feels a bit weird like to me it's continue the under arc up so that the head is like that eyes are here so eyes point towards uh you know even through here that head would be you know whatever mouth eye here which means that you know you're gonna probably have to lift up the shoulder a bit and then rotate down the chest a bit more so it's overall just a bit more of a look this way you know shape wise also that the back is angled like this to give us lines that point over to the to screen right so this downwards look i'm not understanding acting wise that the creature would look up look over and then probably you know because you can't always look over there so what I would do is do a look over point with the face this way and then you can do a faster head turn straight again right because then it tries to get away at, the, at this point we're still looking at the dragon which the dragon still does a very small dissipation for that fire like that was the idea that the guy looks over you look at the dragon and the dragon comes up and then at this point it's such a it's a bigger arc Rawr! really preparing which of course you could also help with bringing legs up not like that but you know up like that and then straighten out in a way you know like you want a big squash and then big stretch on the fire and because there's so much movement we will be looking here and we won't be distracted by a head turn looking down forward by the creature that's cool right now what's happening is just goes up and you can do a bit more like that up and around with a bit of a bigger arc it will help you with the spacing as well see this the nose goes up boom and hits a, a wall here and goes straight down and i think it's going to help you too with by the time he's here it will be looking a bit more towards us in this direction because it's he's running this way and then you can do a bigger head turn to here so it's looking this way bigger head turn to here right that's very gradual and as an audience you go why why is he looking over there oh reveal he he saw this thing here oh i love this i so love this jump i would almost cut out two frames out of here see here so if that guy is here even this guy comes here that was wrong I'm looking, I know it's going to pop everywhere else. I'm looking at this line. The spacing of this, it has to get bigger and hit. So even this, it's too soft. Of it. That's better. 
Because you have this awesome feel of doo, doo, and it has that hang time. Foo, pow, so you want that to accelerate. You want that feeling, right? When it's awesome, 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 and then pow. And by taking those frames out, you're going to have doo, doo, poo, that feels a bit better. So you can see that I took out, what did I do? Seven, eight, nine. Wait, just one frame. But I took out more. Interesting, just one frame, 33. I must have. That might just be it, one frame. Go further. Let's take this guy out. That feels good too. I like this. So now I'm taking one, two. Okay, so I'm taking 32 and 33 out. All right, let's watch this again. That feels good. I shall say, let's do that. Oh. How does it feel on the dragon? Even taking out this frame on the dragon. Yeah, it's a little pop there, but just looking at the back again, just the back side. I'm looking at this line here. Okay, this, I mean this. I want to see. I want to see the spacing getting bigger and having impact, and not being even, and especially not easing in. So we get a bit more pain out of this. It's almost like, imagine he knows, those are knows that he's going to impact and he almost wants to pull the head down, like here, really pull and ram the head into the ground. That's kind of the feeling when I get out of this. You can probably take a frame out of here, when those are those, they're a bit more explosive, it's a bit slow. It's this here, pop, blah. See, that feels better. Even then, it's just some fine tuning, but. Almost like you want to take. It's a big move here. I like that. You want to take maybe all of this out. Whoa, that's a big pop. Probably. I know the camera's going to pop, which is a problem, but see, that feels a bit better. It's like you want that, that, that. Out. So I'm cutting a couple of frames here. Already took 184 out. And 188 and 190 as well. Need some fine tuning, but the point is that you go back and then rah, explode. The thing that's now missing is probably after this frame, this frame a bit higher. It's almost like. Out. It doesn't stop so abruptly. And then our frames. So here, don't do such a huge ease out of this. Explosive, explosive here, and then you can ease more into this. Right? So by the end of the shot, you might add like 10 frames, and this line, you know, will be higher. That makes sense. It's a bigger explosion, but you want to ease into that a bit more because you have such a big...
Yeah. Certain frames is going to help you too. That's it was right now. I feel like you're going rah and cut, and you want to give this enough breathing time when you go <laughs> Not that long, but you know. What I mean. Then dragon, just for polished stuff. When you have a really nice big flap, don't forget to start offsetting wings. There's a bit here, but. And watch out if you do it's a bit of a pop in this wing right down here if you go that strongly right through here then you want that tip to be a bit higher more of a drag this was more like a pop here but since it's such a nice big move you can curvature here add some curvature in that chest so head would be here wings down but you know something where we can feel a bit more up it's not like you have to do crazy up in the path but a bit more strain in the chest because right now it feels like the, the wings just rotate down it doesn't affect the hips or the chest at all so you want a bit of a that feeling of on the flap there's a bit of up and down impact a little bit on the path but also in the body itself again I would push this a lot more squash and stretch into this it's cool. Same thing here, just a bit bigger. It just feels gradual, like a casual bleh, versus you know, even polished stuff, you can have a little bit of high frequency left, right, left, right in the head. So it goes so it's not just I'm spitting fire, but I'm also pissed off, you know. That's cool though. And then what would be really neat for polish stuff too, once you get into this, as the dragon slides, you can do high frequency body stuff where it's a little bit of up and down, up and down. And it's just not even. So it could be one to one, two, a bit bigger, a bit bigger here, you know, like something a bit more random, but you want some some shaking, scratching, you know, it hits this, the floor, the ground has those stones and everything. You can have a little bit of a shakiness in the head. The wings can flutter a bit. It's going to be all kinds of cool polished stuff. You know, right now it feels like a sleeping dragon sliding on ice. So you want to make this a bit rougher. It's cool though. It's getting so much better. I love it. Super cool. Um, here there's a little pop there. Watch out. Watch out what? Like you don't want to go crazy over extension on your arms. Like you'll be better off folding those fingers and the wrist up and have a bit of a, a bend. But to get a nicer line and it's a bit more of a push off with the fingers. See? Like so this feels too broken. And then here, like you want a frame where there's potentially the wrist is down and fingers up. You want to feel that, that move over and then a bit tricky because I don't have that much time, but this is a crazy shape. I don't know if that's what you mean here. No, that's not in your mail. So, you know, the thing is, you want a nice silhouette with this and, you know, maybe the paw out. And the thing is, you just take this piece of geometry and move it over. You know, you don't want to... Uh, I think the timing and spacing is nice of all this, so don't compromise that. So just move that piece of rock to get a nicer, nicer hand shape pose and you know if you need to cheat you can just bring that piece of geometry in you know you can do whatever with that rock to make this work the pop that i'm talking about here is you can see it in the head head pops to the left to the left and then up and then straight up and then suddenly not up anymore and then to the left and then suddenly up again like i feel like there's a lot of weird stuff like that and you really want to track this track that track the big points of your creature and make sure there's a really nice Curvature round. That's cool. Watch out, that's a bit weird. Watch the feet. From here to here, they stop. They will continue. This will continue to go down. The feet will be here. Because then you suddenly pop into this. And you don't want to do that just yet. Alright, so just overall, like it's getting really, really a lot better. Because now you gotta start um, going also into detail of just tracking things, feet, knees, you know, all those lines. And how is the spacing? Especially on big structures like the head here, like the head suddenly goes whoop up and then over and then up again. This feels very, very broken here. 
like pathwise and everything. By the way, same thing on the push off on the legs. Like at this point, you want those toes, feet, everything to, to go back. You want a nice stretch. And again, it's going to be okay if you have, even if you have one, even if you have that one leg here, but then the toes are back. And then this guy's further back. You offset those legs. You can still get into this. It's going to be fast, but at least you get a glimpse of nicely stretched legs for nice um, squash and stretch. So cool. All righty. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.